So you're a programmer and you know how to build applications, write code, make it work. And you've been thinking about the cloud. Everybody's talking about the cloud and you want to be a little better at it. You want to learn about the cloud. You want to master it. You want to be able to take some certifications or whatever. You're going, okay, everybody's talking about the cloud. What does it actually entail? I want to get some essential knowledge about the cloud, right? People talk about AWS, Azure, GCP, but what does this whole cloud thing actually entail in general? And uh, you run into a few problems. The first problem is that there are multiple cloud providers, obviously, and you need to pick which cloud provider to learn, right? It seems like a very difficult choice to make because you're thinking, okay, is this a more employable skill? Should I learn AWS or Azure to get more job opportunities? What is gonna stay in the future? What's gonna go away? Those are some questions that come to mind. Picking a cloud provider is a big challenge in starting to learn the cloud. And then once you pick a cloud provider, you have too many services. It's like, okay, pick AWS, for example. You go to their website, you have lots, like hundreds of services. How do you start? And then you have inconsistent material. Let's say you decide to say, okay, I'm gonna pick one service and start learning. There are so many material and things keep changing all the time. And uh, you go, how do I get started? Well, this is exactly the problem that I aim to solve but this course called Cloud Essentials. This course is meant for programmers to take to get started on their cloud journey. I'm gonna cover the underlying concepts that are independent of whether you're doing AWS or Azure or GCP or whatever, right? I'm gonna talk about the underlying concepts that define a cloud. This is gonna be the very first solid starting point in your cloud journey. And I'm gonna cover things that nobody talks about. I'm gonna talk about some essential foundational concept. I'm gonna teach you the basic concepts that you need to know. And I'm not gonna teach you the steps, right? The, you have lots of content online that says, how do you create an EC2 instance on AWS? Okay, do this and do this and do this. There are a lot of tutorials which teach you the steps, but the foundational concepts, not many people are teaching this stuff. Like actually in, to research this course, I searched for books, I searched for videos and courses online, and I found hardly anything that covers this stuff. But the sad part is that you really need this. This is essential knowledge. Why do you need this? Well, you need this because if you are a new architect or a new tech lead or a team lead, or you're planning to become a tech lead or a team lead, you need to have this knowledge in order to be able to participate in design discussions, right? If you're talking to other architects, they're gonna bring up terms, which I plan to cover in this course that you need to know. Otherwise, you're just gonna be left in the dark and you're trying to figure out what it is that the other people are mentioning and talking about. The third reason why you need this is for cloud certifications. Let me talk about certifications for a bit. Just like there are multiple cloud providers, there are multiple cloud certifications. Picking a provider also implies that you're gonna be doing that certification. So let's say you decide to learn AWS, so you're gonna to have to do the AWS certification. You pick Azure, you're gonna to have to do the Azure certification. So again, there are multiple forks in the road. You're gonna to have to decide, you're gonna to have to pick and all that stuff. But the good thing about this course that I'm talking about is, this is cloud independent. The content that I'm gonna talk about is gonna cover, believe it or not, multiple certifications. You can learn this thing as a starting point, irrespective of whether you wanna go for the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam or the Azure Foundation's AZ900 or the AZ900 exam, okay? These two are basic certification, like the entry-level certification that you need to take. For example, AWS, Certified Cloud Practitioner exam is supposed to be the starting point. And from here, you go to role-based exams. Like if you're a developer, you go in this track. If you're an ops person, you go in this track. But this is basically the starting point. Similarly, Azure Fundamentals is a starting point for the Azure certification line. Guess what? Both these certifications require you to learn about that cloud provider. The AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam tests you on your knowledge of AWS. Azure Fundamentals tests you on your knowledge of Azure. But then there are some common stuff that both these exams test, which are cloud independent. And guess what? That common stuff is actually the same. And that's what I plan to cover in this course. What I'm gonna do is in this course, as we look at the content, I'm also going to be tackling real certificate exam questions from those two certifications, right? I've picked actual certificate exam questions and we're gonna tackle that as we learn the concepts, the underlying fundamental concepts of the cloud that we're gonna learn in this course. We're gonna test our knowledge, we're gonna test our understanding by bringing in the right questions at the time and I encourage you to follow along and answer those questions as we look at them. So this course 
is meant to be a starting point for your cloud journey. I have crafted this material to make this the starting point, irrespective of whether you choose AWS to learn or Azure or GCP to learn. So while other courses talk about the services that these providers provide without explaining the underlying concepts, in this course, I'm gonna provide a solid foundation so that you really understand the whole domain of the cloud, okay? The terminologies associated with the cloud, which are independent of these providers. And hopefully that's gonna lead you to be in a better shape to tackle more learning as you proceed in your cloud journey. So who is this course for? This course is for you if you are a tech savvy programmer, you don't have to code, you know, you don't have to build applications, but you're not really sure what to do with them. Like how do you deploy them? Why do I have to deploy to the cloud? What are the advantages and disadvantages of the cloud? You're looking to understand the cloud space. And also, once you've understood some high level knowledge, you're looking to pick one cloud provider and try and dive deep into it a little bit more, irrespective of whether you pick AWS or Azure or whatever else. You wanna pick one and dive deep. This is gonna lay the foundation to help you do that better. And then finally, you're looking to get certified with a cloud provider. Well, this is a great starting point because I, like I said, I'm literally gonna tackle exam questions, real exam questions, and you will be in a position to answer them as we go through them. This is a member course. This is available on YouTube by clicking on the join button and joining the membership, or you can go to javabrains.io and get the all access pass. You can sign up and you can get access to this course. Either way you choose it, you're gonna get access to this course and all of the other exclusive courses that I've prepared. This course is Cloud Essentials. After you do this, I also recommend you look at Cloud Native Essentials because while Cloud Essentials teaches you about the cloud, which is where your application runs, Cloud Native Essentials teaches you how to build applications that are gonna run on the cloud, okay? Cloud Essentials teaches you the where, Cloud Native Essentials teaches you the how to build apps on the cloud, okay? And if you're in a hurry, or if you wanna learn some very specific principles for building cloud native software, I also have a course called Master the 12 Factor App, which is gonna teach you how to build applications that are cloud native by giving you specific step-by-step -step checklist for you to evaluate your architecture. There are 12 factors really, as the name says, which you can evaluate and see, okay, is my architecture doing good? Is it cloud ready or not? And I'm gonna explain each of those 12 factors with the pros and cons, and I'm gonna explain the rationale behind those factors. So again, you can understand the concepts, not step-by-step -step functionality, the concepts, which are more important. So with this, I welcome you to this course. I hope you have as much fun as I did in preparing this. There was a lot of effort that went into this, and I hope you get value out of this. So please treat this as a starting point for your cloud journey, and let's get started on that journey.